good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Uh, VNet. I looked at that a long time ago. Uh, you could you could rate this. I mean, you could rate this if you went to. I, I I'm not going to do that. The other one was this. <sighs> this is the one to do. Okay. This is the this is the one to do. This is this is just getting pummeled. I mean, I can't believe where I looked at this this morning where it was at now. Like I, I actually just could have traded this this morning. I mean, this is like. I've never seen anything like this actually. This this is like <laughs> I think it'd be crazy for us not to watch this. <clears throat> so I, I, I think we have to. I get forty five dollars. But you know resistance is really far away I mean I I almost think this works no matter what it does today I mean I actually think that works as a short if even if it reverses wishes I, I I think I'm shorting that no matter what it does I, I, that is just absolutely getting pummeled and it will, will be no let up I don't think in that but you what we may have pre-market short covering that happens in the open in that uh, there's just a lot of people in that now so the market fell yesterday, but again, look at where we're doing today. We're gapping up. We're going to hold. We're on support. We're going to hold. Q's look more bullish than SPY. Again, we're not coming in to retest any of these other lower levels of support. So expect the market to hold today. Bullish slash neutral is the call today in the market. Bullish for the Q's. Bullish slash neutral for the SPY. Coors is on its own. I mean, this, this I am speechless. I really just, we're just going to do this, but we're really going to kind of take it easy with it. This is going to take all my concentration today, and I'm just not even focused on anything else. I've just been sitting here staring at this, watching it trade. I've never seen anything like this. <clears throat> I mean, I, I actually could have shorted this around 55 something. I mean, I just, I, I look, this is just going to, this is, look at this. I don't even know what to say anymore. I, I, I short. I like to short and I and I short and I short. It wouldn't make any sense to do anything today other than this. So the spread has been changing. At one point it was 10 cents. It's not going to be more than that on the day. It's been smaller at different places, but the reality is that this look at this. It, this has to rally for us to take it though. We don't, 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 don't be on top of your keyboard in this right away. Is this, this really has to rally to take it. I, I know people are going to pop out of this in the first five to 10 minutes. If it does a one minute low, I'll call it and you can do it. I think I'm going to wait for the rally, but I'll call the one minute low. The stop will be big. I think I'm really going to do what I know I need to do, which is wait for the rally. But I'm telling you that the one minute low could hit and it could absolutely just keep going. If it does and I miss that first trade and that holds, I do believe that it will set up again. <clears throat> this is This is just nuts. It's not necessarily even anything to do with the, the where it closed last night. This is just, I'm talking about the trading action here this morning that I'm just aghast. It's, the, it's this, this, this thing that's going on right now that's been happening since I, since I saw it. 
uh, it's really that, not so much the gap itself. I just know this needs to rally though. I really, I, I just, this is, this could actually get to $45 today. It's not, it's not, Okay, good luck everyone. We we got a goodie. This is just has my name written all over it. Okay. Oh, it's going so well. Okay, just relax. Okay, relax. Okay, this is what I want it to do. Let it go over 50. It's going to go over 50. It's going to go over 50. It's going to go over 50. One second. I just know it's going to go over 50. All right. Uh, but if for some, there, that I knew that would happen. Okay. No one should be in this yet. Relax. I, I was, I knew that would happen. All right. Hold on. Wait. Yep, this is not done. It's going to go over and make another. This is not done. No one should be in this yet. This is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Don't do this without me today. Figure, let's figure 80 cents here. I don't know if that's going to be right. Here, I told you. No one should be in this yet. No one should be in this yet at all. And I'm not getting off of it. Okay, I'm figuring 80 cents. I don't know if that's going to be right or not, but let's... It could be less than that. I can always take more. Okay, we're going to do 99 by 60. 99 by 60. 99 by 60 cores. And if I get a better entry, I'll let you know. 99 by 60. This could be it. My clocks are so off. Here, let's do 10 by 60. Let's do it. There. Do it. Get in it. 60. Put the stop. You can be in it. This is it. I think this is it. This has to be it. This actually has to be it. This actually has to be it. And I was going to wait till 99, but I just hit it right in there before you. Get it now. Get it now. Here, hold, that was it. Oh, my Lanta, hold on, let me check this out. This is going $45. <gasps> hold on, that's it, this is it. One entry in this, it's all. If it goes over, it flips over, we're out. We're out of it and we won't be able to do it. Make sure you have the stop in, 50, 60. This is better than I thought for the entry. But that, this is it, this is it, it's going, it's gonna go. That was it, oh my Lanta. And if it goes over and flips over, it's done. It's done, it won't work. But I don't think that happens. But you might have to be a little patient. You might have to be a little patient. You might have to be a little patient. Market is just nowhere. Oh my gosh, that's it. That was it. Great entry. It could have been worse. It could have been a dollar or something. I mean, really. This is it. That's going to hold. Oh, Atlanta. Hold on. Yeah, 
this thing is so weak. So weak. Is everybody in? Or did you not do it? Are you waiting? What? You can still hit it here. It's still at a decent price in here. And I have plenty of a cushion, quite frankly. But you're going to have to relax. People are going to buy this. Not, not the people that are controlling this, though. But you will have traders buying this. So don't think it's going to fall off a planet right away. Do not think that at all. I wonder if we should give it 70, but I really don't feel like doing that. No, I'm keeping the stop at 60. Yeah, let's find out. All right, no talking. Wow, this is this is gonna hold. You know what? I am giving it. I'm giving it. Give it seventy. I'm giving it 70, 70 just in case. I'm giving it seventy. I moved it to seventy. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just put it at seventy. I just put it at seventy. This is ten more cents over the number. I, I, I want to stay with it. I don't want to get popped out at all. I, I'm telling you right now, this is going to work. Traders are trying to buy this, but this stock is getting pummeled. And I know who's in control. And otherwise, I wouldn't be shorting it. I just gave it 70. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But I want to try to stay in it as much as I can. This is going to give another entry. This is insane. Man, am, am I good to get this today? Do you have any? No one is shorting this today but us. <laughs> I can tell you right now. This stock today, there's no one shorting this but us in any room. Here, you can take more actually if you want right now. 25 by 70. Put this up at 70. It's going to work. This is such a great call. I just moved it to give it 10 more pennies. I'm actually risking more now. $45. This is insane. All right, let's see. Talk about guts. Man, do you have to have guts to short this today or what? Everyone in here, if you took this trade in here today, you got guts. And congratulations to you. This is the, this is, we haven't done anything like this in a long time. <laughs> that, this much guts. This is guts, people, to short this sucker today. The way that this got pummeled this morning, the, here! Oh my gosh, this is going to work. I knew it would. I know, I know this, this is the only thing we have to do today. I didn't even look at the other ones. Let me look at the market. Man, this is going to be a great trade and a great call and so hard. So hard to do! No one can short like me. You better be in it, though, when it breaks 50 again. It's now or never. Now or never, because once that breaks 50, this puppy is going to rock and roll. Here it goes. Under 50, course. Time of the day is excellent, and I have no clock that makes any sense. 9.37, my phone says. We could take more right here. I'm not going to do that. But you could. You could. This is it. It's going to break 50. Oh, this is a beautiful. Man, should I hold this all day now or not? I have so I have a webinar. <sighs> Just go to $45 before my webinar, please. Oh my gosh, this is a great call. <laughs> is anyone not in it? Everyone, you better be in it. If you're not in it now, you're going to miss it. All right, let's look at some realistic targets. Well, I said 48. <clears throat> no, this isn't done. This is not done yet. Here you go. You got people in there trying to back it up again. Time of the day is good. Look at how you have people trying to buy this at 50. Who would buy this? Who would buy this today? traders that believe that gaps fill themselves and all the things that we know that are completely false but thank goodness thank goodness that someone's trying to buy this today we never get in we, we, we wouldn't get in who would who would take us in who would how would we ever get in and out so luckily someone is trying to buy it and they're not going to give up this will try to get bought again and here here it goes breaking under 50 breaking under 50 core stay with the trade this is your last chance to get it or if you want more in here i've i've got plenty and this i really that's why i want to stay in it that's why I wanted to, I just gave it another 10 cents. Really, I was taking more risk. I just wanted to stay in it. Here, here, this is a great call. Here it goes. Beautiful. Oh, my Lanta. What a nice trade. 
here. Just stay with it. Don't any, don't even touch your keyboard. Don't touch it. See what kind of mojo you got today. $48. See if you can pull $2 out of this. Let's test yourself today. See what you got. Jaguar paws in it. All right, let's look at the market. Market's just sideways. It's just sideways here, basically. It's just sideways. And what was the one from yesterday? Beanies in it, frequent flyers in it. Reds in it. Oh, this is fine. Let's look at this one. Magic 88 is in it. We asked the Magic 8 ball. Speaking of Magic 88, we did ask the Magic 8 ball. Yeah! Oh, my Lanta. $48 or bust. $45. Come on. Go, go, go. My hand is nowhere on the keyboard. Woo! I am so good. I hope everyone got it. Look at that. Nice, nice rubber band. No looking back now. No looking back now in this. No looking back. Man, and this could have reverse swooshed. And I, I was going to do it. I was going to do it if it did that. I was going to do it no matter what it did. I didn't look at anything this morning at all but this. And then it kept dropping and I kept looking at it. And I was astounded. I had no words. I'm not getting out of this until it goes and falls off a planet. Do whatever you want to do. You should have a trading plan for how you're money managing your trades. Surf dogs in it. Trader gals in it. This is probably the biggest play we're going to get this month. Oh my gosh, this could drop $5 from where we took it. Hold on, I have to figure this out. Let me just figure out something out here. I really did risk more here putting the stop up, but that was really an excellent decision, quite frankly. Let's just see the time of day here. Time of day. Let's, let's, okay. Time of day and. Mm -mm. This is, this is, this is, this is just. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Anywhere through 48. really think it's going to $45 today though. I mean, that's a dream target, but I'm telling you, these are the days the dream targets come true. Oh my God, if you say one thing filled or closed to gap trader gal. <sighs> what is today? May 27th, beautiful. Here it goes, cores, new low and cores, under the low and let it break 49. <sighs> know what you're doing. You got to know where you're getting out of this. You got to know where you're getting out of this. If this is a dollar right in here. Know where you're getting out of it. You're holding it to 49, 48. What are you doing? Time of day, 10 o'clock, 945. You got to know what you're doing with this now, people. You got to know right now. You can do the same thing I'm doing. You can play it on your own. You have to have a trading plan for when you're taking out of it. You follow the rules I taught you in the class. This is money here. This is real money. This is a nice day. And I have no idea if the market holds today or rallies, but it's not doing anything now to affect us, and it, this isn't going to affect us anything at all, but I'm telling you that you need to know where you're getting out of this. And some of you trade and don't know where you're getting out of anything. Man, this, I, I am so aggressive, but you know what? I'm not really, because I know exactly what I'm doing. You know exactly what you're doing, you can go and do it. And, and and that's the only way to trade. Who would trade if you didn't know what you're doing? Here it goes. New low and course, break under 49. Who would do that if you didn't know what you were doing? Who would do anything if you didn't know what you were doing? Here, 
Oh my lanta. I'm not, I'm not even touching the keyboard. Just drop. Man, I am in such a good mood. I am in such a good mood. And it's getting even better. Okay, that didn't break 49, you could take the first exit there. It bounced off 49, you could take the first exit there. You could take the first exit there if you want to, right there. I'm not, I did not, but you could. You could take the whole thing out, you could take a half, that's more than a dollar. You could be out of the entire train right in there. I'm not, but you could, and you should know what you are doing. Market's gonna hold today in rally, just as predicted. Although I did not call this its exact entry long, but I did say the market would rally today. I'm just not getting out of any of this. Uh, Disciplined dude, finally did it. I know you've been in and out, but yesterday I made a great call. You signed out. That thing fell off the planet too. You're going to wait through a possible rally in this. Do you believe that somebody's going to try to buy us a 49? Where will they not try to buy it anymore? Under 48. Under 48. This is going to keep getting an attempt to get bought until it breaks 48. That's a dollar 25 away from here. It's like everything else. Sometimes I go back and I look at trades that went to the dream target and I count my monies and see what I had. And if I'd held it to the dream target, I actually would have doubled my money in some of those. Like there were other ones this year when I had looked at that whenever that was a couple months ago. So it's like, Yes, it could be done at 48, then that's a huge trade. But if it breaks 48, it's going to 45. <laughs> so this is the problem. It's really not a problem at all. Here we go, under 49 cores. And I love Michael Kors. I love Michael Kors. Michael Kors gave us good luck. I saw him the other week at the gym. Mm -mm -mm. There's a beautiful blue purse in the window at Michael Kors, a Time Warner store. It's a big, big purse. It's a gorgeous blue. And I don't normally get purses that big. It's like a bag but it is so pretty. I was gonna go in and ask the price. I don't even think it matters now after this trade. Go, go, course. I could buy 10 of those purses probably after the day, but let's just see. I may just go buy that purse today. 49 has to break. <laughs> you think yesterday you went seven hours or something, but who knew? And you would have risked it win by holding. That went so fast yesterday, though. That went so fast. That went so, so, so fast. Here. Don't buy the purse till we're out of the trade. What would you people do without me? Would you ever take a gap like this without me? Write it in the room. Yes or no? Some of you might. Some of you might not. Would you ever have taken that call in there without me today in this? I mean, just be honest. Ah, here it goes. Under 49. Woo! I almost should just play some music. Ah, 48. Oh my gosh, I have to decide right now. I have, I have to decide. I have 88 cents to decide. Here, I knew it. 48, 48, 48, 48, 48. But I know if it breaks 48, it's going to 45. Man, hold up. <laughs> I'm going back to bed after this, or I'm going to have a chocolate mousse. Something. Here, here we go. Cars. This is such a great trade. I really think it goes. You could be out of this all if you want. You really, really could. This could bounce at 10 o'clock. <sighs> I know it's gonna keep going though, hold on. Decisions and decisions. <sighs> no, it's gonna keep going. When you looked at the chart this morning, you were in love with it. Yes, but with less risk. Never in a million years, Shower Singer wouldn't have done it without me. I'm surprised because you've been here so long. If, any, if you wouldn't do it without me, no one would. Trader Gal said no. Here it goes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I haven't taken anything out. Who's in the whole thing with me yet? Who's in the whole thing with me yet? We're going to get a huge trade. More than $2 in this right here. Here we go. Let's get it. If it breaks 48, it's going to plummet off the planet of the face of the earth. Let me just see here. Time of the day of the market. And I have no interest in anything the market is doing here at all today for the reference of the cores. 
Trader Gal took a little teeny weeny 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 bit out. But we're gonna go over this when we're done. When we're done, we're gonna go over this when we're done. Discipline Dude took half off, good for you. Red's on is still. Jaguar Paw, so glad you did it. I'm gonna go to Charming Charlie's and buy myself a princess crown. I'm gonna have someone take a picture of me whenever I redo the photo shoot again. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it everywhere on the website and call myself the bearish queen. <laughs> Here, listen, this is gonna bounce though. I'm still in the whole thing. But you could really, really, really still, you could be out of the whole thing. I mean, you absolutely 100% could be out of this whole thing. You could. Beautiful market. We're going to 100% retrace the drop off from yesterday, which had no meaning. No meaning, which I discussed and talked about in the market video, which I did. The market could trigger today and just rally all day and power trend up. So the market is going to 100% retrace the bar from yesterday, the fall of the drop off, which I told you had no meaning. We discussed it. I explained. I talked about the price action. That was a really, really good, good explanation. And as you see today, you see this today. Like I predicted this would happen here today. We just talked about this. I, yesterday when I told you and I explained it, I predicted it. I predicted how it acts, which is the money. It's the money that I'm talking to you about. I'm reading money when I'm reading price, and that is how it acts. And that is what is happening here. And this is just beautiful. I mean, look, I haven't gotten out of any of it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch it at 48 time of the day in $48. And, and the reason is because 48 could be the end of it. But I'm telling you right now that if it breaks 48, it will go to 45 or 46, 50 or 46. I mean, wow. When was the last time we had something that moved $5? When was the last time? Write it in the room. Anybody, somebody in I mean, there have, we have done them. We have done them. When was the, here, oh, <laughs> I haven't gotten anything out of this. It's going to break a new low. I, there's no one that can trade these things like me. This really could go to $45 today. Crap, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do. I want to hold it so bad. But I have a webinar. All right, here we go. All right, let's pay attention. No more ads, no more ads, no more jiggies, no more anything. I only called the one trade and then I said you could take more. I felt, I really actually risked more than normal in this today because I was in love with it. And then I gave it more of a room at the stop. I didn't take any more in the ad. It wouldn't have really mattered anyways as far as the price because the thing was very close to. And I just felt like I was all in then. And I that's why I gave it more room then. It didn't even need it. It didn't even need it. I gave it 10 more cents, it didn't even need it. That's how weak this is. But because of the risk I had in it, I gave it a little bit more of a cushion. And I really felt like it shouldn't flip us out. And that if it would have, it would have failed. And therefore then that would have been it for my day. I wouldn't have done anything else. I, I just wouldn't have done anything else. And I would have had to take a loss. But I'm not taking a loss. I'm not. Uh, Trader Gal SS says core is negative. Believe it or not, hedge funds added to cores. SS, who's SS? You lost me there. I'm still in this entire position. Not only that, I haven't even lowered the stop. But if you took some out and you want to lower the stock to break even, that's fine. It will never go back there again. But you could. <laughs> okay, time of the day. We do have to watch here. What is the real time? 9.53. Here we go. This is, this is just, I love this stuff. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I just love it. I love this stuff. 
And, and I love the market. I love the market. I love the way that I can read the market too. I predicted this yesterday when I talked about it. Never thought the market would fall yesterday, but I basically predicted this would do this today, yesterday, and it's doing it. Yay, 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 yay. I really wish that I had $10 billion. Here we go. Here we go. Cars. Under 73. New low in cars. 48, 48, 48. 48 by 10 o'clock. Crap. Do we get out? 45 is so... I tell you, I just bring new meaning to the word quality. I will risk everything in something that I love. And I won't, I won't, I don't even want to take 200 shares of something I don't like. I won't even, I, if, if I don't have conviction, I won't even take 500 shares. I won't risk a penny. If I like something, I will just take an unlimited amount of risk for myself. And if I don't, then I don't even want to risk a dime. It's just, it's just hilarious. It really is hilarious, actually. All right, let's look at this here. No, not yet. You have to wait. the conviction I, I watched this get pummeled this morning I mean I even even I I'm not surprised the way that it's set up but I well kind of because I really was prepared for this reverse whoosh I mean to be honest with you I was prepared for that I was full-on prepared for it and I knew I didn't want to be too aggressive right away I didn't even have the option it never set up the way that I said that it might of the first one where I said I wasn't doing it, it did exactly, it was like almost just did exactly what I wanted to do. Like it on command, it rallied. I said, I want this to rally and it just opened and did it for me. Okay, now you're gonna suffer through a rally back up. You could be out of half of this, the whole thing, whatever you wanna do. I'm in the entire position of this because I have 100% conviction it goes to 48. I've, all the time this is trading here, I'm trying to decide if I'm really gonna get out a lot of it at 48, but I'm gonna time it with the time of day. If it goes down to 48, approximately between 10 and 10, 15, which is late, and doesn't break it, I'm, I'm going to be all out. If it goes down and breaks 48, between 10 and 10, 15, I will stay with it as long as I can. I really feel this has to break 48 by 10, 15, and if it doesn't, I'm not saying it doesn't get past 48 today, but I think the timing of it will be late, and I have a webinar that I have to do today. So I will not be able to stay in this trade very, very late today. But you could stay in it all day through every rally and watch it if you want to get it down to 45. But I think the timing for me for my exit has to be in the morning. So I'm timing it that way for myself. That's what I'm doing. Okay. 73 is a new low in this and we're going to hit it in 10 pennies. Here we just did. Woo! 48. Okay. Time is good. Hold on. Oh, my land talk. All of this is happening when the market is rallying like a banshee. Hold on. Gonna keep going. Oh, this is just a great call. 48 or bust. Here it goes. All right. I can't look at any questions right now. This is it. This could be the end of the trade for me. It's gonna break 48 though. I feel it. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna break 48. I'm telling you it's gonna, it's gonna. I'm not even touching my keyboard. I know it will. It's going to. Oh my god. Okay, three more minutes on one of my clocks until 10. Let me just look at something here. It, I just, I'm speechless. Right on the sheet, holding to target or not, yes or no. Yes or no and the target's 48. Yes or no, you gotta know. Yes or no and you have it on the sheet. Gotta get the good ones. This was a good month, people. Every single person in here should have a solid month and if you don't, then you have to do some serious soul searching. There were days in this month in May during earnings season that I didn't even trade. And then there were days that I had humongous trades. 
Everyone in here should have a solid month. And if you don't, you need to sit down and examine yourself and your trading. It's going to go to 48. Here it goes, under 50. It should, should just go right down. It should just go right down now. Once it breaks, it's going to. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I have not even touched my keyboard since I took the trade. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time of the day, 10 o'clock. 43. Oh, this is where it's starting to get hard. <laughs> It is 10. It is 10. I know this is going to 48, though. Okay, I'll, I'll read all your questions and stuff I'm, I'm when we're done here. I just can't right now. We just completely retraced the bar from yesterday in the market. <laughs> all right, you're gonna have to suffer through a rally for still in it. So you could be all out of this trade. I mean, I this was a fantastic trade if you take it right here. I'm really, 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 really gonna try to hold it. I can't be in it all day because I have a webinar but I'm going to try to squeeze everything I can out of this in the morning, and it's still early. It's still early. It's still very, very early. Hey, you can be all out of this. I'm not. I'm just letting you know. definitely going to break $48 now though if it goes down and breaks a new low because it was too close to getting there to bounce and off at that number. So let's just review this here if you're still in it. It came down in here. I thought it would go right down to 48 It didn't. Time of the day, 10 o'clock. It got 43 cents from the first target. It's not going to go down there, break that, and then bounce at 48 So it will break 48 now. So if you're in this, you're up. You're up a great deal amount of money if you took it where I did, but you're holding through the rally back, it's 40 cents, you could take it now. But I'm just telling you that it, if this is not done, which I don't think it is or I wouldn't take it, then it's definitely going to break 48. 
So you will be paid if you can hold through it. If you cannot, then you just take the trade off. <clears throat> it's not going to go down there and just go 43 cents. Not the way this thing trades. But you're going to have to let this 15 minute bar play out, which, and it's only 10.03, so, you know, it's, you know, 12, 13 minutes away. Really nice call here. Again, the aggressive entry is the one. There really was no place to take this at all. If you did not do the first entry or the second entry, you never got in it. You just couldn't even take it. And this is, I think, sometimes why people then try to flip these and buy them. They miss the short, and they want to buy bounces, and they just do stupid crap. Whether they believe the gaps fill themselves or not, or they just miss the short, they try to buy the bounce. People do stupid stuff constantly in, in trading in, as a day traders. And, you know... Now you're going to have to wait for a sandwich in the five. I do think it's worth it today because I think the target left is more than a dollar. So this is where you kind of like have to figure it out for yourself. Like, and also, I don't know what else we get this week. What is today? Wednesday? Like this could be the biggest trade of the week here. Zach, let's just look at it right now while I'm talking. <clears throat> Because obviously, if I wanted to get out of it, I would have. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's so slow. Hold on. I know cost is out tonight. Okay, cost is out tonight. P A N W, I'll look at that. All right, so we did talk about this yesterday. Cost, 100% conviction and gaps up. And no chance of failure on that to gap up. All right? Cost tonight. And I really, you know, like to short, so I don't know. If we don't get any good shorts tomorrow, I will do cost long. I don't know where it gaps, so I can't possibly rate it. This is out tonight. This is a little too thin for me. Cost is the only watch I see tonight, and it's going to be a long if it sets up, and I don't know what it will rate, and I can't determine if I will go long another day until I rate it, but... For those of you that like options, it's going to gap up. Let's look at the market. The market should have a little pull in here, possibly. Well, not necessarily. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a pull in with the market between 10.15 and 10.30, or 10.15 and 11 o'clock, and then set up as a long again to follow through. Uh, we look like we're going to power trend in the queues, but not so much the SPY. Oh, my Lanta. Hold on. This is it. This is my whole trade here. Next break through the low, wherever it goes, wherever it breaks, on a 48, I'm all out. And I've held the entire trade. And if you got out of half, you can do whatever you want or try to hold it to 45. This is going to break a new low. And I am still in this. And what a great call. I really, we must do this. We're going to do this. I said we would and we are. And we did. I want to know right now what everybody's up. I want the money written in the room right now. Right now, write it in the room how much you're up today. How much you're in the trade live, how much you've booked, how much you're, how much money. I want the whole room to write it in here right now today. Come on, let's keep everybody motivated to stay in this trade and maximize it. It's going to break a new low. I told you it would. No one is buying this today. That makes any sense. Idiots will buy this today. It's going to break a new low right now on command. I want to know what everybody's up in the room right now here today. This keeps you motivated. You have to stay with this. Everyone should be up a lot of money today. $1,600, $169, $1,300, $833, That's what I want to say. Come on, here we go. This is it, though. This is it for me here. 10 to 10.15-ish. 
$1,200. Great job, Moonraker. Is that your biggest day yet? Shower Singer, $3,000 plus. Great job, Shower Singer. And you darn well deserve it. Most you ever made in one day in your life? Frequent flyer, I missed how much you made. You had a, your biggest day in your life last week. Jaguar Paw, 1300 I'm going to tally it all when we're done. <sighs> Frequent flyer, how much did you make? I missed it. I didn't see what you wrote. Discipline dude, 1200 Excellent. This is going to break $48. I knew it would go to 48 and it's going to actually break that now for the reasons that I explained earlier. Here we go. New low under 43. Oh my Lanta. Oh my Lanta. Here we go. New low in course. This is the trade. This is the trade and then we're going back to bed. Thirteen hundred. That's great. Frequent flyer. <laughs> Trading is a skill. People don't get. They have to learn the skill. They just want to go. Boop. You you couldn't do this today without skill. This is all hundred percent skill. So pat yourself on the back for doing it with me today. Because you even still had to do it with me. You had to have the skill. And since you've all done the class, you saw it. You saw it. Don't you dare. Don't. over to the fat lady sings and it breaks so. <laughs> let's look at the market uh, the market the market uh, I mean like I said the cues look like they're just going to keep power trending and the spy does not I'm staying with it. I'm staying with it. Do whatever you want, but it didn't break a new low in there. It got within two pennies of it. Do whatever you want. It did not. It did not, and I'm telling you that it did not. I'm still in it. Time of the day, I said 10.15, and it's not 10.15 yet. So I said that this 15-minute bar has to close, and it, it's not 10.15. So <clears throat> do whatever you got to do. Everybody's up a lot. Pin drop from the 60th floor right now. If I threw it out the window, it was so quiet in here. <laughs> I could drop a pin off the 60th floor. Here we go, course. Here, yes. Beautiful. Oh, my Atlanta. Happy Memorial Day, 48. All right, this is it. Oh, it's going to break 48 too. This is it. This is my whole trade. This is my whole trade in here. 10, 15, 10, 15. Come on, keep going. Time of the day. Let's blow it up. What a nice call. Can't ask for more from life. 35. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to get nuts here now. I'm going to take half off if it does bounce aggressively here. I don't think that's going to, <clears throat> but I'm not going to be insane here now, because this is just really good. 
Let's just see. Now let's wait for the 15 minute bar to finish. This is so close to the number. This is it. Come on, no. Okay, I have to blow it up again. Well, it's going to keep going. I love these things. I love gaps and I love these bars and these little jiggies. Here we go. Under 35, this is it. Yay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Disciplined dude, short 10,000 more shares. Just push it down. Somebody, anybody. <laughs> As if it would matter. Here we go. New low. You're going to say what you always say. You could have added twice on pullbacks. Every day trader gal says, I could have made more money. I could have made a million dollars. Yeah, so could I have long time ago. Right now I could be, and that's for real, but I am gonna. Here, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. This is the whole trade. Let it break 25 and there's no looking back. It's got five more pennies. It'll just go right down in the number. And I do believe that it breaks 48. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted to see. I said, let the bar close here and it did. And we just broke in this one here too. We just broke it. This is this. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a nice trade. Here, it's gonna break 48, stay with it. I haven't taken one penny out. Stay with the trade. Thank goodness I live alone. Who could live with me? <laughs> I yell when I trade. 20? Do it. Oh my gosh, I just know it's going to keep going. My clocks are crazy. 10 16. No, I'm just here. I just know. You figure it out. I said target, 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 target on course. Target. And I got the confirmation when it did exactly what I wanted it to do into the open. And it gave me a thousand percent conviction and here we go. I'm not trailing it anywhere. I just have my hand of the button here. I have my hand of the button here because it's 20 cents from the target, but the next bar opened the way that I wanted it to in the 15 minute. And I do believe this breaks 48. And if it does, it could go right down to some crazy number, another dollar again. So, you know, but if it bounces there, I am all out. <laughs> Make sure you use a jiggy that's going to get you out. Make sure you have your hand on the right button to get you out. That's all I can say. When this is done for the morning, it will bounce hard. Here we go. Course, 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 course. When this is over this morning, when the shorts are done and out, it's going to be a big bounce. So beware of that. And you want to be out at a good price. Make sure you're all set up to go. Here it goes. It's going to break $48. Am I good at predicting stocks and gaps or what? Here it goes. It's going to break 48 I told you. Oh, my Lanta. I am speechless. I'm in the entire trade. I'm in the entire trade above $50. Come on. 40 ain't 10 No piggies. This is 13 more. We have 13 more minutes, though, to 1030. I mean, this is literally could go to 47 right in here. Stay, try to stay with it. But I'm not going to be a pig. Here, it's gonna keep going. Yes, that's what I wanted to see. Oh my gosh, it's gonna it's gonna break forty eight. This is the longest I've held a trade in my life with this much size for this long for this much of a move and since the whole year. Here we go. What a great call. Conviction all the way around. This is where it starts to get right. I can't look at anybody else's writing because I have to watch what I'm doing here now. <gasps> there, it did it! Oh my Lanta, it's gonna break 
348. Do your best, everybody. This is the, ah, uh, we're getting a round of applause. Here, oh my gosh, it's gonna break 48. This is nuts. Wait, hold on. Here it goes. It's gonna break $48. I can't even take my hand off to look at the bottom number. Quick, somebody gave me what the low is. I can't look at it. I can't take my hand off the button for myself. I think it was 48.01. Here, no, it's gonna break it. Here, here it goes. Gosh, it's gonna break 48. I know it. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes right now. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's oh my Galanta. Here it is. This is the whole trade for everybody, and your hand should be on the button now. This is a fantastic trade. Here we just got it. It just broke 48. I, I knew this would. I knew. Here, I just took it. I'm out. I'm just out. I took the whole thing. That's it. I'm out. I did it. Hold on. Where did it go? I just had to. I'm sorry. This really could go to 45, though. I couldn't take it anymore. I did it. I'm out. That was phenomenal, though. I, this really could keep going. Let me just look at the market. Market's power trending up, and Corey's just is going insane. I, I'm allowed, though. This could go to 45. It's, it's still going here now. It could go another $3, really it could, but I just took it. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't have a bounce, anything. Here, this is still going. <gasps> I did what I said I'd do, though. I said I'd hold it to 48, and I did. Here, it's still going. Yay. Oh, my gosh, she's still in it. This is insane. <gasps> All right, I'll cry if it goes to 45, but I'm not going to cry right now <laughs> because I don't have too much money. But this is still going. But literally, your hand must be in the button now. I mean, your hand must be on the button. wedding now. In fact, I have to turn up the air. You, you, this is the trade. Done. <sighs> you have 50 shares left. <laughs> Wait, uh, Trader Gals, 50 shares left. Are you hoping it goes to $30 or something? You people are hilariousness. I'm all out. I, I I probably should have held it for one more millisecond. I literally probably should have held it for one more millisecond. <laughs> but I, at, the, at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. I'm telling you that this is the morning move. This is the morning move in this. I'm telling you right now and everything else I said is true. If you're staying this here, I have no place to tell you to put the stop to even try to hold it through. You're either in this to 45 or bust now, or you're out of this for the morning. Okay? Or you bar by bar it on the five, but I think it's way too far away now. Don't let this get over 48 aggressively for you. Jaguar Paul all out. $1,800, Jaguar Paul, your biggest win, conviction. Thank you, Melissa. And for the size of your account, Jaguar Paul, you're getting a round of applause from me. You just made what percentage of your account today? I went right in the room. Man, that is a big trade, Jaguar Paw. Not just the money, but the amount of money that you just made on the money that you have in your account. That's phenomenal. All right, let's talk about it. Uh, let's bask in the glory of ourselves. Shower Singer made $4,000. You're the best. Wow. Here, it's still going. Oh, my Lanta. Is anyone still in this? Why am I even surprised? Put the stop at 4807 and call it a day if you're still in it. This really could get to $45. And I, and I don't know what I would have done. Let me just think. I do have a webinar today. And if I didn't, would I have stayed in this to $45? Not with the whole thing. Not with the whole thing for surely. And I think I just it was just too much money in there to not get out. I really just think it. But to be completely honest with you, this could drop another $3 by 4 o'clock Eastern time today. And then it's, it could go there right now. I mean, this is just, look at this. Never seen anything like it, which I talked about this morning. 25% of your account in less than an hour. And that's what's phenomenal, actually, Jaguar Paw. I mean, that, 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 write a testimonial. <laughs> and we have to do the video. We'll do it on this. Oh, well, you know what? I can't do it tomorrow. I can't do it tomorrow. I have a dentist appointment at noon tomorrow.
All right, is anyone still in this before I go over it? Boy, people are really going to be sorry that they haven't done my class this summer. Who have been following me? Snooze you lose. What was the exact total of this from the call? Let me just see here. Well, I mean, this is still going, so it's really hard to say. I just want to say here. <clears throat> All right. Um, okay. Let's talk turkey. Does anyone want to go over what to do with this now? I mean, you, you really should be out of 80% of this or more. Or put the stop over 49 I mean, or you're just going to be in it to $45. I, I, who, is anyone still in any of this? You're, so you're still have 300 shares, Magic 38? You're, it's going to rally aggressively, which I kind of warned you. I'm not saying it's done for the day, but I'm saying you will get an aggressive rally. Market no let up. Market no let up at all. Wow. All right, let's actually go over cores first. So the interesting thing, let's look at the whole big picture of cores because I think there's a lot to be gained from this. The stock had a gap this morning. They gapped down early this morning. I actually knew this would gap down. But, so I left and I went to the gym very early and came back. I wasn't surprised. So I liked it immediately. Rated it, decided it was good. Kept scanning and scanning and scanning and scanning. Saw this bar in here, which was crazy. But again, this is all pre-market. And I don't trade in the pre-market, but you see here, if you were in that, that spike, whew, look at that spike up there. So if you were short this anywhere in here, look at the spike you had. It went up. You would have been down like $3. Again, no stops in the post to pre-market. I just don't trade that period. But from where I saw this when I got back from the gym, you know, I mean, it was around 55. When I saw this happen here, I was speechless. This is all happening as I'm sitting here right before 9 o'clock. And now I'm like, crap, now what do I do with it? But I, I really still liked it. And I double, triple checked the rating and I double triple checked it and I just go with what I know and and it works what can I say so but I really felt that I didn't want to be too aggressive on it so that we didn't get hurt in it this behaved extremely balanced today it was really on our side every way every way every way this was balanced and I will tell you this is quite a decent size rally. It is a dollar. This is a dollar, but it's not a reverse swoosh. Do you see here, if you don't know what to do with this, you think this is a long. You think it's a long because of that. Then you think it's a long because of that. Then you really think it's a long because of that. And then you're confused, and then you don't know what to do, and then you're still not sure what to do, but at this point it was holding $50. I saw this hold 50. Do you see that? See that there? Yeah, and we were in it short already. <clears throat> but if you like this long and you see it's holding 50, it's giving you conviction it's going to hold 50. It held 50 within one 60 second bar and another 60 second bar. I mean, you don't even understand what this is like. I mean, this is why I love this stuff. There is 378,000 shares in that and it held 50 cents. The size of the bar in there is 20 cents. This size of this bar in here, the length of the bar in here is 16 cents, and there's 262,000 shares in it, and it held 50. Does anyone even remotely understand what this means? I mean, what, how do you think I do this so well? I know what I'm looking for, and there's things that tell me it's good or tell me it's not good. But if you like this long, you're reading this the opposite of me, and you're thinking that this is actually a good long because it held 50, and because you're seeing this action, and you're seeing the size of the gap, and there was massive 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 selling happening in this I mean there was so much selling happening in this I knew it would go to $48 and it did 
and it broke it and this is still going and if it goes to 45 I will not be upset with myself and you shouldn't either this was a fantastic trade everyone should be up huge today some of you had the biggest days you've ever had you you have to just accept you will never be out at the low of the day if I could have made another 10 cents in this I could care less if it goes another three dollars I have commitments today I run a business and I did the best I could have because it could have held this through a rally then caught in a trade then I have to do a webinar now it's still breaking in here but at the end of the day I could not have traded this better in my life if I tried this was a hundred percent perfection all over the place and pat yourself in the back for doing it this was one of the most aggressive things we have done in a very long time for many 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 reasons the setup in the morning the volume in it in the morning the selling action that came in, in the morning the the size of the gap the I have the market against us I mean there are so many reasons today that this trade is a superstar trade for everyone in here if you shorted this with me trading rooms did not go after this today the way that we did you deserve every penny of the money that you made today from the market don't give any of that back the rest of the week not today nothing okay you've got to keep the money that you make from the market and that's why we focus on quality and I'm not doing a thing tomorrow if I don't get something amazing and this is going to rally here now in the 15 minute 10 30 between 10 now and 11 o'clock you're going to get a push off over 48 i'm telling you right now this will rally up to 48.50 or beyond this is not going to rally a smidgen you're going to get a 60 70 cents rally in this right now if you don't want to hold it through four o'clock eastern time you must be out 2100 that's a great trade mr Here it goes. You're going to get a big rally back in this now. It would be it would be one thing if every day when you traded everything was easy, but it's not even if you knew what to do. And that's fact. So one of the reasons that people struggle with day trading is that even if they know what to do, there are days that are challenging. Today was one of those, unless you have conviction. The conviction allows you to trade even the days that it's hard and do it well. Does that mean that we never lose? No, that's not true. Because there is something called an unknown factor that happens on certain days in stocks where something just doesn't do what it's supposed to do on the day. As it turns out, often it does, though, afterwards which I never realized when I sat and created my system over the course of three years. But it's very interesting to know that that has helped my conviction. Even the days I take a loss and somebody doesn't work in my favor, the fact that it follows through the next day has helped my conviction in the 26 point rating system and everything I know. Because on the larger scale, it really did work, except for the fact that we have a certain risk and we wanna be out by four o'clock. But if we didn't, I could hold most of my trades through the next day. I just don't do that. All right, let's go over the market. <clears throat> no one up here in the market on the queues. The spy could come in, but it's really holding very well. I talked all day about this at one point in the morning yesterday when the market had a smidgen of red. It fell all day. Did it matter? No. As soon as I saw us in the morning, I knew that we would gap up, and we did, and we held, and we rallied all day, and we have completely retraced this. The market still is setting up that it can make a new high again this week. And people shorted this, the double, triple top, the gap down, the fall yesterday. People think we're coming in. People think we're not higher, but we are. And as I explained yesterday in the video that I did, every time the market gives one inkling thinking that it's going to break, it flips around almost immediately out of nowhere. I predict this to happen every single solitary time. And I'm able to do that because I'm reading the quality of the gaps or lack thereof, which in the case was yesterday. And also, I'm reading how the money is acting. I'm reading how the money is acting. The money is strong to the bullish side. There's nothing bearish in this chart. The fact that we had a red day yesterday and a gap down didn't even mean anything. I mean, I can look at the fact that we traded on all day yesterday and it had no meaning. And I explained it yesterday. Market is power trading from the open today. And I could have called this long. I didn't. The trade was coarse. I didn't even rate anything else. I had so much conviction in this today, and I didn't say no chance of failure because it was in my head about... I just was in my head about how this I wanted us to set up like from 9 o'clock to 9 30 I just was totally in my head about it here this is still going oh my Lanta is any uh, 
this really could get to forty five dollars a day. This is insane. Anyways, I was really in my head about it, so I didn't say no chance of failure out loud. It doesn't even matter. Y'all did it anyways. But the point is though that I really had in my mind that it would work and go to the target, and which it did. And I held this whole trade down, and I don't play that way every time, but that's why you fill out the sheet. And you really got to hold the trades that are working in our favor to the targets if you want to maximize the profitable days. And we're going to have a good summer. We are going to have a good summer. Today's a great example. The market was bullish all day, and Michael Kors fell off the planet and went to the target. So it doesn't matter whether the market's bullish, and it doesn't matter whether the market's bearish. you got to have a quality gap. And if you do, you know how to trade it and take the entry, you can make good money trading. Some of you have to consider going up in your risk next earnings season, not now, third quarter. Everyone in here should have a solid month. If you don't, you need to do your own soul searching why. I can try to help you, but I highly doubt there's anything that I could say. You should just be sitting here and taking the trades. How far back do you look for gaps? What do you mean how far back? I'm looking on them live on the day, new, brand, 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 brand new. This happened today, brand new. That's all I care about is what's happening right now today in the live moment live. This is live time action, the stock gap this morning. I want to do something new every day. You people know that in here. I'm off this now. I'll do a video. I will do an email, I'm sure today on this for marketing but whatever this does I'm off of it now I made my money in it I'm done with it boom 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 and you gotta be that way with the good ones and the bad ones actually you gotta be that way with the good ones and the bad ones if you lose money in something you're off of it amnesia you make money in something that's great but tomorrow is a brand new day I have to be just as good tomorrow as I was today I can't just be like ah, I'm so great and then screw up tomorrow no tomorrow I have to get up I have to go exercise, I have to come back, I have to have breakfast and coffee and look what I get and I have no idea what that's going to be. Cost is going to gap up tonight, 100% conviction, no chance of failure if you want to do an option in that. You risk a fixed amount and it either works or it doesn't. I don't know if I'll be able to play that long tomorrow, I don't even know if I'll want to. This is still going. I'm so glad I held it to 48 though. I held it through the break of 48. I held it through the break of 48, but this actually went down there at the lowest 47.70 something. This, this is Wow. I, and we all got filled. I mean, I got filled everything I wanted. We all got filled. That rally helped us all get filled. No one had a problem getting filled, and I didn't have a problem getting out. So, very happy today with this. I mean, so happy today with this. This isn't done, though. This is insane. If you're still in it, it is still going. <laughs> if you're still in this, try to hold it to 1045. If it keeps going after 1045, try to hold it to 11 o'clock. The longer you can hold this, the more money you're going to make. I am all out. But this was an amazing call for all the reasons I said. So you really deserve all this money. Yes, a gap is something that has to happen between the close and the open. When the stock closes at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, It closed at 60.59 last night. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is still going. Oh, is anyone still in this? Right in the room right now. I want to know right now if anybody's still in this. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I am not. I am not. I am not. This could go to $45 for real. For realness. Magic 88 is still in it. What a thing to look at. I, I really... I think, are you the only one that's in it left? It's not over though. I can tell that it's not over. If this really could go to 45 today, there's, there's nothing I can do. I, I still don't think it's going to happen here by 12 o'clock, but I'm looking at the daily chart here and I, it's, this is not done. Wow. I don't even remember what I was going to say. I'm just enchanted with this. I'm mesmerized, so I'm not even in it anymore. It happens from the close to the open. So whether the earnings or the reports or the downgrade or the CEO getting fired or whoever doing whatever that creates the gap, there's a thousand reasons that gaps happen. It has to happen before the open, from the close to the open. So it could happen at night or it could happen in the morning.
And again, I don't look at reasons for any of that stuff. It gets in my head. If I had discussed this with anyone today, they may have set me off of doing this. Because most traders out there, 99% of the people on the planet that trade the U.S. stock market as day traders and not short fours today. They may have shorted it pre-market. This is not done. Oh my gosh. Let's just sit here and watch it. This is crazy. Is Magic 88 the only one still in it? Oh my Atlanta. Again, this is where greed takes over. I can't, I, I mean, I did such a great job with this. I'm not even going to say a word about it. But look, this, this really could go to 45. Trader gal is getting paid on her 50 shares. Count every dollar. Where do I get these numbers? Mm. Yeah, and you know, see the thing is, like I said, I found that it would break 48 because it was only 40 cents from doing that when it bounced. So I knew it would break 48, which I held it for the break, but then when it pushed up against it with the time of the day I got out, but that break of 48, there's no let up in this now. I mean, there's just will not be any let up in this now. But it could push back and rally hard against it before it keeps dropping. But again, that 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 area was significant. And that's why this is going and going and going and going and going and going still. Magic 88 is being greedy. You just did the class. Since you've traded in here, you made all the money back the cost of the class. Write me a testimonial, Magic 88. You've made the money back for the class. You just did it. In the last week of trading. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I can't look at it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Does anyone have any questions about anything? The market course, anything at all? Great day. This is still going. I will look at this after the webinar or maybe right before. Um, in the meantime, I have no idea what we're going to get tonight or tomorrow. Everyone should have a fantastic day. I was going to say something else, but I forget what it was. It doesn't even matter. Oh, I know what I was going to say. It's all about the quality. This isn't done. Oh, my Lanta. Look at this. Look. This, this really could get to $45 today. I'm like, just, I can't, I don't even want to think about it because I really did everything right here with this. But and I don't care about this extra 50 cents, but literally I think this could get to 45 for real, like for real. I'm not even making it up. It apparently is gonna get down to 47. Great call once again, great call once again. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Here you go, you're gonna try to get this down into 10.45, $47 chorus. Oh, I know what I was going to say, and then I'll let everybody go. There were traders that were short this in the pre-market this morning when they saw the gap. There was 9 million shares in it. There was a very significant amount of volume. It was more than that even before the open. I don't remember. I didn't look at it exactly. But there were a lot of traders that do short post to pre-market when they see something. It's like they're shorting a falling knife, and you have no stop. It's really, I do not trade like that. But there were people shorting this here. That, are tr that trade, but not on the open, the way that we did, with a stop in the way that we took it. So to do this today as a day trader live on the day and get the move we had in it with a fixed amount of risk is phenomenal. There are trainers that will short this post and pre-market activity, but you do you understand this has an unlimited amount of risk. You have no stop. There was volume there, you could have taken a trade, but there's no guarantee when you press to get out, you'll get filled at the price you want. It could go against you $5 till you get out. There's, it's the Wild West trading in that time frame. I, that's why I don't trade it. I wanna know I have a fixed risk that if I lose in the trade, that's all that I will lose. I feel comfortable trading like that. And I also feel comfortable trading knowing that I know what I'm doing when I take the gap in the first place like this. But to trade this the way we did today was expert skill because most traders were either already in it in the pre-market morning, held it through. Look at this. Ah! Uh, this really could go to 45. This is insane. Try to hold it 47, magic 88. Anyways, most traders that are in this were, did it in the pre-market and got out into the open. And I'm sure some did hold it down through the drop, but they were ready in it in the pre-market. So their, their risk is, is really just 
insane, okay? Too much risk. Or people that are doing that have such a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of money that they don't mind taking the risk. And when they are wrong, they have massive losses. So then how does it make any sense to have a massive day? You have to have small losses to be profitable as a trader and good, big, solid wins consecutively. Oh my gosh, this is really going to 47. This is, I, wow. Where did I get out of this? Let me just look. This is a, I don't even know what to say anymore. Oh, I did everything right here. I mean, I really did everything right here, but it's still going. Um, anyways, getting back to what I was saying, that uh, it's not a fixed risk when you trade in this time frame. You either have to have an enormous amount of money because when you're wrong, you will lose a lot, massive number of hours, and it just doesn't pay because then you have to have big trades like this here to have a massive number of hours to be up. And I've got to be honest with you, you, don't, you just don't get this kind of stuff. I mean, I just, I told you this morning, I've never seen anything like this. And I've seen everything. So, and the way it played out, same thing. So, I did it all right, but it just doesn't make sense to trade in that time frame. And even if you have a lot of money, you really have to know what you're doing because you don't want to get it wrong. I mean, I guess I could do it, but we'd lose a lot when we were wrong. And you'd have to have really massive, massive R's to make up the difference. And I, and I just don't need that to day trade. I, I have my bars, I make money, I'm solid, I have my fixed risk, it's very easy and comfortable for me. I, I don't need to have 10 hour days to be profitable. I just don't need it, because I'm right more than I'm wrong. Way, way more often. I just feel that this is too risky. But you had a lot of traders shorting this here in the pre-market, and a lot got out into the open, and then some held it through. But to do what we did today here, I mean, people just did not do this. They were, were there were traders that were going long this year. You can see it. This is still going. $45. Wow. Can't believe I'm sitting here still watching it, actually. Uh, you want to know what happened to the hedge funds that added to their positions? What do you want to know about them? What do you, what do you want to know about them? Here this goes, 47 What do you want to know about the hedge funds in reference to course here today? Ask me that question and I'll let everybody go. What do you mean, trader go? The news came out, though, at 10 o'clock or 10.15 when you read that news. You read news that hedge funds were adding short positions to cores at what time we were ready short the train like in that way like for an hour what was the time that you read that i didn't even read that anywhere but i believe you it wouldn't have made me take the trade or not take the trade though so right so you got it at 10 o'clock we were ready in it okay we were we were in it within the first five minutes of the day but if i had read something like that would that have made me get more conviction no i have to read the gap the gap has got to rate well, and, and the size of the gap today was massive, and this could have failed. I was full-on aware of that, 100% aware of it. It could have reverse swooshed. It could have stopped us out on the first trade. It did not. It could have completely failed. It could have rallied and been green today, and someone could have come in and bought it, even though certain hedge funds, according to what Trader Gal read online, shorted it. Someone else could have come in and bought this stock today and supported it in the gap. Now, it's still gapped down whatever amount overnight, $10 plus. But I'm telling you, we've seen this. We just saw this. What was the one where we just saw this happen? Again, I don't remember. I try not to think about them. But there was one that just happened just like this where it didn't work. Does anyone remember? Does anyone remember? 
You assumed that the hedge funds were long, buying more, and thought they must be hurting right now. No, there's nobody with any significant position that's buying this today. This is really damaged. But sometimes you do have people coming in to buy this and support these types of gaps. The reading today told me that wouldn't happen. And as much as it was getting plummeted into the open, I just knew it was going to work. But I really was aware of the fact it could reverse swoosh. And this really could just drop all day to $45. And that's insane. I just don't want any of that stuff to cloud my judgment of the most important thing in this. And I'm going to say this one last thing and I'm ready to go. You have to be able to read price correctly. If you read that stuff and it helps you trade and gives you conviction, fine. But if you read something and it sets you off that you lose conviction from what I taught you, if you're going to err in your reading of the gap. If you stay focused on price, which is the 26 point rating system and what the numbers are for this, for the targets and the resistance and the rating, you will be able to trade and make money and you don't need to know anything else. If you read other stuff and it helps you trade, great. But if you read other stuff and it help, and, and does not help you, it hurts you, you could err then in what you're doing and that would not be good. There is nothing more important than what the price action is doing. It is the only way you make money in the market. You don't need to know anything else in order to do that and I don't and I am the best. And soon the world's going to know it. So have a great day, everyone. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.